In this clip, I'll be talking about distributed ledger technologies and in particular blockchains. First, I'll talk about the technologies. Then I will talk about innovation in these distributed ledger technologies or DLTs. And finally, I'll talk about fintech and DLTs. Distributed ledgers are a group of technologies developed and deployed to record and authenticate data and share them securely across different parties. These may be made secure through various cryptographic systems. Blockchain is a ledger of valuable records, the block, which are cryptographically linked, the chain. Records are stored permanently across distributed computer networks, involving all users in validating, record keeping, and authentication. There are different types of DLTs whose underpinning technological concepts differ from standard database applications. The key point is related to control. Whereas in a standard database or traditional distributed database, control is centralized with DLTs, control resides with all the nodes or individuals connected to the network. The concept of DLTs is rather flexible and can be implemented through different technological solutions. It involves a protocol layer. These are the rules regulating the system's operations. For example, it's software code, which can be open or closed source. A network layer. This is who is operating within the system and what are their tasks. And finally, a data layer, which is about the information flow. This diagram shows the ICT infrastructure on the left and the users on the right. Apart from Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, blockchain and DLTs are increasingly used to manage large quantities of data securely. For example, the Estonian eHealth system is using KSL blockchain technology to share individual health data with authorized individuals across the health system. Or the Port of Antwerp has recently announced that it is using blockchain to automate and streamline the terminal's container logistic operations. As the hype on blockchain is receding, more context-based applications are emerging. The technology is increasingly used by financial providers in the traditional markets and in alternative finance. 77% of companies involved in the financial services industry have set out plans for the adoption of blockchain by 2020. Venture capital investment in blockchain companies is on the increase. In 2017, this investment in blockchain totaled $544 million. This was a doubling with respect to the previous year. Major corporations and organizations are also investing in the technology. IBM, for example, has a $200 million investment and over 1,000 staff working on blockchains. Large financial and banking groups such as HSBC, Deutsche Bank, and the Bank of England and KBC all have blockchain projects ongoing. For example, by the end of March 2019, after extensive piloting, piloting Unicredit SPA, a global Italian bank with a network spanning 50 markets, has applied blockchain to its smart contracts operations. Finally, we'll talk about fintech and DLTs. In alternative finance, we see applications in many areas. For example, initial coin offerings, Ethereum, or lending ecosystems such as Debitum. In the digital ID authentications, we have Verified Me. In cross-border payment systems, Ripple. And in large platforms, we have R3's quarter. Thank you.